how should Hamilton grow over the next 30 years? That's the question asked in a survey that's been mailed to homes in the city. Hamilton Mayor Fred Eisenberger joins us this morning with more on how your response could make a difference. Good morning. Good morning. So this response has gone out. It's, it's been out for a couple of weeks now, and, and people have a, a few more weeks to, uh, to get it in. Is, is this something that's mandated by the province that you have to do this? No, this was, uh, this was put forward by uh, some councillors to, uh, to do a survey and ask the public at large the, uh, the question around what, what are our land needs assessment going to be if we're going to grow by 236,000 people by 2051, then what do we need to do going forward? And so it lays out a couple of options. One is the ambitious uh, recommendation from staff and ambitious intensification process, which basically means uh, uh, you know, balancing between land needs assessments in the greenfield area and some ambitious goals in terms of intensification uh, in the inner city. <clears throat> the other option that they're putting forward is is no uh, urban boundary expansion at all, which uh, we will we'll speak to not uh, expanding into the greenfield areas, but looking at housing intensification wherever we can uh, achieve that throughout the existing urban boundaries. So those are the kind of the stark options. and. Pretty much the survey will be a gauge to as to how the, uh, the public at large feels about uh, this issue. And uh, is it mandatory that we do it? No. Is it, uh, is it potentially you know, going to sway the decision one way or another? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, it, but it's a good gauge to feel what, what the community at large is thinking in terms of how we're going to manage our future going to 2051. Mm -hmm. And and a lot of people like if if people haven't seen it yet, it it can look like a piece of of just ad mail or whatever, right? But I, I'm going to show up a copy here of of what I got in the mail. So that's what it yeah. looks like when it comes in. Um, and and it, it, you mentioned greenfield. What is a greenfield? Is it is that farmland or is it parkland or forested area? What is a greenfield? No, well, greenfield is is farmland generally speaking. So you know all the lands beyond the urban boundary are generally kept in farming by and large uh, so it's the uh, you know the crops that uh, that we need to kind of feed our cities and feed our country uh, and you know what uh, all of this used to be greenfield uh, you mm -hmm. know before before we all inhabited the place prior to uh, even the indigenous people being here this was just green space and uh, and slowly but surely crept into farmland and that farmland then turned into the need for housing for people that are uh, coming to live in our city and you know 236,000 people is has has to be accommodated somewhere and so uh, and it needs uh, services it needs uh, water and sewer services and it needs roads and schools uh, all of the things that come with the, the demands that uh, that the public would have in terms of their living and accommodation so it's uh, there it's a it's a long range plan uh, it's uh, certainly 2051 is a long ways out, but we have to look down the road to start preparing for those kinds of eventualities now. And certainly that's the reason why we're at this uh, decision making point. Right. Have you got much of a response yet? Uh, no, only from delegates that uh, have been to the committee a few times. Uh, I, I'm sure surveys have gone in. I don't know the numbers in terms of the responses from the survey, mm -hmm. uh, but we'll know that by July 23rd when the deadline is up. Uh, and uh, we certainly hope that people will take the time to, uh, to answer some very simple questions and, and give us their feedback on what they think the city should be uh, looking towards in terms of uh, future development. Right. And is there a place where people can, if they, if they maybe missed it in the mail or, or didn't get one, is there a place on the city website where you can also send in I your opinion? I am sure it's on the city website. And uh, you know what? Just go to hamilton.ca and uh, you'll find it on the website. Uh, you just look for... Uh, land and needs assessment survey and uh, they will uh, they will I'm sure it will pop up and they can uh, certainly utilize that as their kind of online version of responding to that that issue it doesn't have to be in paper form but uh, certainly we encourage people to uh, to take note of it and uh, and respond if they think it's worthy okay and and at what point are we at in the planning stage right now I know these surveys have gone out you say July 23rd is, is the deadline for this um, any idea of when a decision would be made? Uh, we need to have a decision probably sometime in October, November of this year uh, to, to meet the provincial timelines in terms of getting this done. And they've set a deadline of, uh, I think, middle of next year. So there's a number of things that have to happen for all of this to, to actually get done. There's an appeal uh, timeline process that uh, has to be adhered to that uh, allows anyone in the broader community to appeal to whatever decision council makes. 
And so all of that has to be factored in to be able to meet the, the uh, July 2022 deadline. So uh, October, November is decision time for council, and uh, I anticipate that uh, a decision will be made one way or the other. And then uh, we'll go through that appeal process and see where we end up after that uh, four or five month appeal process. Okay, thanks very much for joining us today, Hamilton Mayor Fred Eisenberger. Great to be with you, Annette, thank you.